Tesla have significantly updated the semi and mass production apparently will begin very, very shortly. This is good because we want more trucks on the road to be electric. It's, I think, really good for drivers. They're safer, they're easier to drive. It's also good for us. We don't have to breathe in all those diesel fumes coming out of those big trucks. And also have the risk of sitting behind them on freeways and highways where they're so, so slow up hills. Electric trucks are just so much better. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Tesla have updated the semi. It has 500 miles of range, 800 kilowatts of total power, 1.2 megawatt charging, and it's quite efficient. The design has also been changed. I think it kind of looks a little better. No, not a lot different, but it looks a little better. It's got a redesigned chassis, new headlights as well. Now, during Tesla's annual shareholder meeting, they, to be honest, didn't talk too much, but they have revealed they've updated the semi. The truck has been, well, it's now more efficient. It means it uses less electricity than what it did before. It has an increased payload and it's designed for autonomy. Tesla released a new image of the updated Tesla Semi, and here's what it looks like in comparison to the, the last version. I do think this new version does definitely does look better. Not a, not a lot different, but those headlights, I much prefer the newer headlights. I don't know why, but I think they just look a lot cooler. So you can see that the wrapped windshield has been scaled down as well. There's a new front bumper. Uh, the new lights as well are a different shape. They look a bit like the headlights on the Tesla Model 3, which I think look quite good. And the roof angle is more rounded. This makes it more efficient and more slippery through the wind. Real world tests of the Tesla Semi show it has an efficiency of 1.55 to 1.73 kilowatt hours per mile, which is actually quite good. And here's what Tesla's, um, their head of the Semi program had to say. His name's Dan Priestley. An immense number of improvements in next year's semi stemming from pilot fleet learnings and amazing innovations from the Tesla teams working on it. Priestley has said that well, mass production will occur at the factory in Las Vegas in Nevada around the second quarter of 2026. Volume production is going to be the second half of next year. What is about the cost? Well, we don't actually know what the cost is, but... Um, I mean, realistically, you need to service these electric semis far less often than you need to service an internal combustion or diesel-powered semi, so they last a lot longer. And I think the thing to keep in mind as well is that 500 miles of range, that's quite a lot of range. I mean, I don't think that you really need more range than that, plus you've got 1.3 megawatt charging. Now, Tesla said the starting price of $150,000 would be for the 300-mile version, and it would cost $180,000 for the 500 mile version. But apparently there was a drastic price increase. I'm not even sure what the price is. I think it's about $200,000 US for the, for the 500 mile version. But either way, there's not a lot of, there's to be honest, not much in the market here. So I think it's actually a, a good vehicle. Now there's other vehicles on the market. There's Volvo have their own electric semi. There's another, Windrose have their electric semi as well, which is available in Australia. Uh, here's one comment from Vanessa. Vanessa said, Tesla is far too late and with overpriced products. Very general comment, isn't it? Is everything overpriced? Exactly what you describe is already being done in Europe with European brand vehicles. In other words, Tesla is just, this is a, a flop and it's not going to do well. Now, I don't actually agree with that. I think the Semi is designed very, very well. And Tesla taking a lot of time to get this to market. I think they're going to do a good job. Some people say this though. One person said the industry if this vehicle ever goes into mass production, the industry will stick to the established players. They have reputations, service and part networks. So yeah, I mean, Tesla's not gonna get any market share people are claiming. Now I don't actually agree with that. I think Tesla will definitely take market share for sure. But Tesla will need, of course, to add in some megawatt charges. So 1.3 megawatt charges are needed really for, for a lot of routes. And I think Tesla's gonna begin doing that. They've built a few of them, not many yet. But ultimately, Tesla will do that. But you don't actually need that for all of them. I mean, there's lower hanging fruit. Um, 
So you can go after the longer hanging fruit first for shorter delivery routes, and delivery routes that might be, you know, 400 miles from one end to one end or from one factory back to the same factory, um, drive out and drop off something and it might be 250 miles or 200 miles one way, 200 miles back. That is very, actually very, very doable. Resync Solar is the company that I used. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Now, interestingly, um, electric semis have already hit 4% of the market in Europe, which is pretty good, and 22% in the first half of this year in China. So 22% market share for electric semis in China. People are saying Tesla's going to find it a hard sell outside of the US to sell the semi. But the thing is, Tesla's not really going for sales outside of North America. The North American market is massive. So I don't think Tesla really needs to worry about um, challenging the established players in China or the established players in Europe. You can let them have as much market share as they want. That's great. I think going after North America where Tesla is a known brand, their products are known as being good quality, I think that's going to work for Tesla. So I don't see all the doom. And, there's a lot of doom and gloom about this um, Tesla Semi. I don't see that at all. I think it's going to be a great product. I think it's going to sell extremely well. It's going to take a lot of market share and it's going to probably help Tesla to significantly increase its profitability because they can make a fair bit of profit on these large vehicles. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let us know in the comments. Bye-bye.